He's the next big thing. He's been a dominant force around the world. He's a future world champion. He's can't miss. He's the main event. He's a lock. 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 I am the lock. I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of the lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The Lock has arrived on Raw! And apparently The Lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big ideas about rechristening his title the Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard The Lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, and if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here at WWE. Well, I agree. He's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against the veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight. So I'd actually give the advantage to the lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Locks long awaited debut is happening right now on Monday Night Raw. And what a way to kick things off as Sami Zayn's challenger for the Intercontinental Championship. There's been a lot of talk about how the Locks going to change the game in WWE, but I'll believe it when I see it. Time to see if he's ready to deliver the goods. Ah, oh, jeez. Put a stop to that. <laughs> Samoa Driver. He reverses it. Getting tossed. Well, there's the eccentric Sami Zayn for you, ladies and gentlemen. Re entering the ring now. He returns to the ring. Getting set up for something in the corner. Those last hits rattled the champ. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Nowhere to go, being victimized by the... The Muay Thai training really showing off here. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Boom! It's okay. They weren't that pretty anyway. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sami.
Up into the torture rack. We can have a new champion. Cover. The Lock has indeed lived up to the hype by winning the Intercontinental Championship in his WWE debut. What an unbelievable night here on Raw. Not many superstars can say they captured championship gold their first night on the job. We heard so much about this superstar, how he was the next big thing, a future Come world on. champion, and so far I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Me too, Byron. I think we all owe the lock a thank you for that. Hold up, Sammy Zayn from behind. Well, apparently this isn't over. The lock ducks and he nails him. Sammy goes head first into the side of the safe. Wait, what's he doing? I think the lock's going to lock up Sammy. Yes, do it. Into the safe. We might never have to see Sammy again. Thank you. Now what? He's going to send Sammy for a ride. Stop, stop, that's enough. And the safe goes crashing down. This night just keeps getting better. Once again, your new Intercontinental Champion, The Luck. What a debut. There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah, can't wait to get out there. Good. We can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh. Talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep. Cat with a K. K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on a wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Got to document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion, The Lock. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah. But that's not how the WWE Universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things, and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. OK, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? I mean, it sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. We good here, or...? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? 
Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for 10 years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. We probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. Hey, champ. Long time no see. You here to cash in on some more tips from a certified locker room vet? Yeah, I was wondering, how do I get a match? Great question. From my experience, matches get booked in one of two ways. Talking to people, or checking your social media messages. What do you mean? talking to people. Exactly what it sounds like. Aside from being booked by management, talking with superstars, the crew, or other backstage visitors can lead to opportunities. Sometimes people might have favors to ask of you. Others might have bones to pick. You know how they say it's who you know? That's definitely true in WWE. Who you know and who you talk to. Seems easy enough. Don't try to put too much on your plate, though. If somebody wants a favor, you can always tell them no and come back to it later. Or even defuse a tense situation. But once you agree to something, you'll need to see it through. So take it one thing at a time. Makes sense. And the other way to get matches? You mentioned social media. I assume I shouldn't go dark on there while I'm a WWE superstar? Definitely not. Even a veteran like me is always seeing what kind of trouble I can brew up on social media. If you don't check your SMs and DMs, you might miss out on opportunities. Not everything there will lead to a match, but 
It's worth keeping up with what the WWE universe is up to. Okay, so check my social media feed and direct messages. Got it. All right. Any other questions or anything you'd like me to explain again? Actually, I think I'm good for now. All right. Well, like I said, if you ever need advice or even if you just forgot your flip-flops for the shower, I'm here for you. Got it. Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. Spectacular debut. The Intercontinental Champion will look to keep his momentum going tonight against Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent, Ridge Holland. Looks like Ridge Holland has company, though. Sami Zayn. Penny predicament shoulders down. He got a little too confident with that one. Oh, oh look at the knees. Precision strikes. Oh, ouch. Sammy looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Ridge Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they going to do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabe 
Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Ooh. Sammy and Ridge want no part of him. Well, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Lux certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage. Hey, you okay? It was almost really bad. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pound safe. The respect you wanted to handle your own business, but I meant it when I told you I'd have your back. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not gonna cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Ridge Holland. Fine. I guess we can team up for one night. Do you want to talk strategy or anything? I'll see you in the ring next week. It's been a non-stop thrill ride ever since the Intercontinental Champion stepped foot in WWE, and there's no reason to think it'll stop tonight as The Lock and Gabriel Slade take on Sami Zayn and Ridge Holland. The Lock locked horns with Sami Zayn on his first night in WWE and can't seem to shake Sami loose. Locked horns, huh? We need to unlock some new vocabulary, and The Lock and Gabriel Slade need to get on the same page fast if they're going to have a chance against two of WWE's most talented and superstars. Oh. oh, that'll give you whiplash. He's looking a little off balance. Oh! Saw that coming right across the face. Boom! Oh, impact! He's returning fire!
The brutish Ridge Holland looking mean as ever. Countered it just in time. Placed it in the corner. That holds back Holland's attack. showing by this tag team. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today. So, these interviews for the doc will be quick and easy. It's just like we're having a conversation. I've seen these before. I get it. Okay, good. So, a lot to catch up on. You debuted on Raw, won the IC title, almost got squashed by a half-ton safe, but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in Gabriel Slade. I appreciated the assist, but I wouldn't go as far as to say we're allies. Okay, let's not get hung up on semantics. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your Intercontinental Championship. Is there any merit to Sami's complaints? I know I'm new here, but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything. That's true. I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired. Really? Oh, okay, that was me. But you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sammy? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Sammy wants to talk about privilege? Well, he's going to have the privilege of having a ten-foot ladder jammed down his throat. Boom! Mic drop! What an atmosphere for the Locks Premium Live Event debut! And what a matchup as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against his biggest nemesis in WWE, Sami Zayn. Biggest nemesis in WWE? Who's the Locks' second biggest nemesis? Give me a break, Cole. The guy just got here like 10 minutes ago. Well, he's already made more of a mark in the ring in 10 minutes than you did in 10 years, Corey. No! Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. He the ring, and we just saw some serious offense. Oh, my God. Dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. As if Sammy couldn't be any. Saving us from having to sit through that. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Face wash. Sammy predicted that. Station. Hooked up and backdrop suplex. He's getting it set up in the corner. And I assure you, he plans on using it as a weapon here. Did you hear that impact? Positioning the ladder here. Zayn able to adapt. Uh-oh. Great wherewithal on the counter. Punch him in the chest. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Strong impact. Ooh. Counters that. And now the admittingly divisive Sami Zayn attempting to rally the WWE Universe behind him. I'm not sure if it's really worth the trouble, though, Sammy. If this lands, it might be all over. Solid and driver.
you ask me. really putting the pressure on. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. On the way to the top of the ladder. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. A long way. Look at this, he's taking it to him up there. Oh, this is such a dangerous position. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Just like that, Sammy gets stopped. Look out, they're high above the ring here. I feel like something really bad is about to happen. Sure, climbing the ladder there was such a smart move. A win here would be a bit of a surprise. A shock. Huge spot in this match right here, guys. Looks to me like that ladder is positioned perfectly in the center of the ring. Just got to He's not giving up yet. He should. Clearly not afraid to take the fight up high. Forearm smash on the ladder. Oh, timely counter by Locke. facing one of his stiffest title defenses yet against the red hot Rick Boogs. Boogs new tour manager Rick Morgan will be looking to add to their recent momentum by adding intercontinental gold to their gold records. Good one Saxton. I don't know about you but I've heard Liv and Boogs are more than just co-workers. I guess you'd know about that sort of thing wouldn't you Corey? Another good one. Hilarious. Hold on, why is Dewdrop getting involved in this? Oh, uh, Sheila has second thoughts or something to walk down. Either's possible around here. Ooh, connects to the back of the neck. Oh! Rick Boogs out of harm's way. Oh, hold on! One-handed. Oh, the lock manages to counter. Uh-oh, sunset. Flip! A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Can't quite get him there. Ooh. Dodged right on cue. Ooh. Wow. Lights out. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. The challenger is not in a great place. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Give up now. Swallow your pride and submit. Just hang on. Hang on for just a little bit longer. He's risking permanent damage. And watch this. Letting him free? Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. Once again, here is your winner, and still, WWE Intercontinental Champion, Scorpion Sub-Zero. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match, never any doubt in this win. Never a doubt, barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.
I'm so sorry. I don't know why my music hit during your match. So weird. All good. It didn't really affect the outcome. Really? Boogs didn't even notice? I thought that would get his attention. <laughs> Not that I want it. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. You've got a little thing for Boogs, huh? Well, he is extremely handsome. And who knows, maybe someday we could make a little boo drop. I honestly don't know how to respond to that, other than to remind you that Liv Morgan is more than just Boogs' manager. If you know what I mean. Well, that's also sort of why I'm here. I heard a rumor that Lev has actually been talking about moving on to you. Are you interested at all? Yeah, I don't really know her, but maybe. Well, I think you should grant Boogs a rematch and I'll be your manager. Let me work my matchmaking magic from ringside. What do you say? Uh, manager's not really my style, sorry. But good luck making a gumdrop or a little booger, or whatever. showed up this time and she's distracting the intercontinental champ locks on coming overhand right wins uh oh we're gonna see it power sit down power bomb what goes up must come down and it sure as hell did right there challenger's a little worse for wear now he planned for this and could still rally Up top, Samoan driver, into the pin attempt, two count, and he powers out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Ooh, stiff kick, ooh.
Did you have anything to do with Dewdrop's deranged lies about me? So, I take it you don't have a huge crush on me? Nope, but I am down to team up with you to rearrange Dewdrop's lying face. That makes two of us. It's musical chair madness here on Raw as allegiances have been upended and new partnerships formed on the fly. That's right, Michael. The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with the unlikeliest of allies, Liv Morgan, to take on Rip Boogs and his new boo, Dewdrop. Please don't start calling them. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Boodrop. If this lands, it might be all over. Samoan driver. Able to parry that one. Able to give him the slip. Ooh, hello. Able to avoid there. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. This lands, it might be all over. Oh, 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 oh. Quick sidestep by Boobs. He knows how to avoid contact. Oh, oh, oh. Rock has him staring at the lights. Looking to take flight here. Flying. Diving. Such stuff. Brutal. Momentum is slipping away from Boogs. The lock isn't holding anything back. Oh, the lock gets caught with a counter. See an answer for every move attempted. And that one misses the mark. Lands the haymaker. Battling at rings. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Oh, look at this combination of strikes. Tag insanity's over. Can we give the ref a raise? I mean, he definitely earned his paycheck tonight. Really putting the sports in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork. You're usually much happier to be in catering. What's on your mind? Can't get anything by you. I actually need to ask a pretty big favor. Lay it on me, partner. Easy on the partner talk, okay? 
Apparently, I still have a tag match left on my old PWJ contract. Will you make the trip over and team up with me? Trust me, I really didn't want to ask. You really know how to make a guy feel wanted. Nothing personal. I'm just not too big on asking for help. I get it, and I got you. I'm in. This is where you say thanks. Right. I'll see you over there. Well, well. If it isn't the Intercontinental Champion. I remember my first IC title, but barely. Because I've had so many. <laughs> Losing your memory in your old age, huh? So sad. <laughs> wow. Locke's got jokes. And I was just about to teach you everything I know about being the Intercontinental Champ. Enlighten me. To be a true intercontinental champion requires a truly intercontinental skill set with mastery of styles from all over the world. And your intercontinental specialty is British, Japanese, Lucha, Cleveland? No, no, no. I am the greatest French style wrestler of all time, of course. A style defined by the element of surprise, or as the French say, surprise with a zzz, which they stole from me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? My wife is French, so I'd know. But enough spelling talk. Let me show you what the Intercontinental Championship is all about. In the ring, for your title, what do you say? <sighs> sure, but I've got more important business first. I've already got a cage match title defense lined up. Well, bon chance, as the French would say. Break a leg. Or two. An impressive win over Mad Cat Moss. Here comes the man with a shot to the back. What the heck is he doing out here? And now the Miz is asking for the cage to be lowered down. This is absolute mayhem. The champion just survived a cage match, and now he's dealing with this. The champ's doing his best to battle back, but Miz has played the element of surprise to perfection. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? Low blow from the Miz. The most unpredictable.
unpredictable man in sports entertainment has struck again. And again, and again, and again. Talk about a long night for the Intercontinental Champion. This is brutal. has teamed up with a north of the border superstar tonight for a mixed tag team match against WWE's marquee French couple, Miz and Maurice. Hold on, since when are the Miz and Maurice French? I wouldn't second guess Miz Saxton, not when it comes to maneuvering his way to another Intercontinental title. Watch and learn. He skirts around it. Big kick. Up top, Buffalo oh, and Driver. Both arms captured, and Vitriolic stops. Stop after stop. Relentless. Able to evade. The Miz looking a little bit shaken. What makes a great tag partner, Cole, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Oh, man. Performance here from Miz. Oh. Is it enough for the Rock? Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Congratulations on nothing. That win was completely meaningless. What matters is that I still have an icy title shot. Care to make it French rules? Here we go. What does that even mean? It's the highest form of unpredictable surprise-based sports entertainment. A proper cage match with escape-only rules. 
Are you intercontinental enough to handle it? Call it whatever you want, miss. It's clearly just a pathetic attempt to find an advantage that you will desperately need. Bad news, though? I'm keeping this intercontinental title no matter what fake French surprise you have planned. Bad news? No way! I'm clearly in your head, which is the best news. Say au revoir to your championship. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the dramatic conclusion of the head spinning saga between the defending Intercontinental Champion and the Miz. That's right, Michael. The Lock will defend his Intercontinental title against the Miz in a French Rules cage match where the first competitor to escape the cage will walk away with the IC title. Sit back, butter your baguettes, and enjoy two of the best in the business with the premium in premium live event. He's one step ahead there. Not a snap there, driver plants him. Here he goes, working his way up the side of the cage. Trying to make their way out of the cage. Boom! Try something else now. The stomp in every single part of his body. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Double axe handle. Ooh. And he said, You're not getting me with that this time. And an act breaker. Vintage Miz. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh, delivers an axe handle. Ooh, connects on the kick. And that was a precisely measured attack. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And landing with the double axe handle. Saw that one coming. Close line. And now he's at an impasse at the top of the cage. And would you look at that? 
He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. All he has to do is drop down to the floor and his hand will be raised. The Rock is walking out the same way he walked in as a champion. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Scorpion Sub-Zero. An always thrilling steel cage match, unpredictable to the very end, but there's the survivor. This victory is exactly the kind of statement I knew he wanted to make here. This was a message from him to the entire WWE Universe. A gigantic match for you tonight. It's the Intercontinental Champion against the incomparable Andre the Giant in a French rules cage match. A gigantic Andre the Giant match. Come on, Cole. We're in a dream. Think outside the cage. Wait, we're in a dream? That means I can finally get you to hug me, Corey. It's a dream, not a nightmare, Saxton. Inflicting pain at will. And Lindy with the double axe handle. Oh. Andre the Giant on the defensive here. He's a tough guy. He can handle the intensity of this steel cage match. Saw it coming. Boom! And a big boot to the face. What a redirect. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Ooh, hello. has picked up the pace. Yeah, Rock is proving hard to keep up with. So much That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.
As someone who knows a thing or two about growing pains in WWE, can I give you some advice? Go for it. Three words, ignore the haters. So you've seen Cameron Grimes and Happy Corbin chirping at me on social media. Chirpers gonna chirp, and they sure as heck chirped at me during my retribution days. You just gotta tune out the noise. Trust me. Oh, I don't trust anybody around here yet, but thanks for the tip. Hey, I get it. I didn't come up through the PC either. I know what it's like to feel like an outsider here. And I definitely know what it's like to find yourself in a costume you didn't pick. Doesn't mean you can't make it work for you. I can help you find your footing, if you're interested. What's in it for you? Never hurts to have friends, even for us outsiders. How about it? At this rate, a little guidance couldn't hurt. I'm in. What's my next move? You're already an IC champ, but you don't find your voice in WWE by winning titles. You do it by sending strong messages, which is why you need to silence the voices calling you out. I hear you loud and clear. And so will Cameron Grimes. too much time worrying about what people are saying on social media. It could end up costing him his title here tonight. Wow, what an arm drag. Ah, able to sidestep it. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Ooh, the challenger's looking shaken. Flight shot for him. And oh man, that is reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well. He foiled that attempt. Stiff elbow will break that up. He's completely tied up. You're a Nagi. Man, oh man. And a stop to the gut too. And finds a counter. He'll take things into the ring. around the edges out there, but you got the job done. Nice work. Listen, I know you're showing me the ropes or whatever, but I've already got a mentor. Tavish, right? I used to watch him back in his WCW days. Don't think I ever saw him win too many matches, though. Not sure what he can teach you. What you saw in WCW wasn't the real Tavish. Do your homework. He's a highly skilled, tough-as-nails competitor who taught me a lot. I'm not trying to replace anyone, so just hear me out. <sighs> okay, I'm listening. Take it or leave it, but I teach Corbin a lesson about speaking out of turn. Maybe turn his smile upside down. I'll see what I can do. The Locks Intercontinental Championship is on the line once again, but tonight he'll have to fend off the always dangerous Happy Corbin. The rookie superstar has reportedly been seen taking advice from respected locker room veteran Mustafa Ali. Let's see if it pays off. Respected, yes, but some of his previous leadership ventures didn't end well. I'd be wary of that happening again. Ouch. And Locke got turned around there.
Looks like Mustafa Ali has more than just advice to offer the lock. Didn't expect this, but a little distraction can certainly make sure a match goes your way. The challenger's looking shaken. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Pintanoku <laughs> driver, wow! Oof. And Corbin with a counter. Uh, reversal, can they go on the attack? And well-timed maneuver there. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Scorpion Sub-Zero. Let Corbin keep talking. Just focus on you. Little hard to focus on me when I've got glory hogs crashing my matches to piggyback on my momentum. You realize I bailed you out in that match, right? You could have lost your title if I hadn't. I was fine. And I'd be even better if you stopped using me to get yourself over. Wow. You want to hear some real talk? I saw myself in you when I watched your debut. But you and I are in different leagues. <laughs> I'm the Intercontinental Champ. What do you have to show for yourself? For now, I've won more matches here than you've ever even seen. Never fought me, though. Have you? You man enough to change? Or would you rather just stand here and air out all of your paranoid fears? <laughs> You're on. Only thing I'm afraid of is embarrassing you so much you start hiding behind a neon mask again. In that case... Why don't you put your intercontinental title on the line, too? I thought you said it's more important to send a message than win a title. Every once in a while, it's possible to do both and put an overconfident rookie in his place. Rookie, huh? <laughs> I'll see you in the ring for my title. Hope the moment's not too big for you. certainly appear to have gone south fast between The Rock and Mustafa Ali. Yeah. That's right, Byron. The short-lived allies will settle their differences in the ring here tonight with The Rock's Intercontinental Championship on the line. Champion or not, it seems to me like the rookie still has a lot to learn about respecting his elders. Easy now. Just non-stop aggression. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Continental Champion, Scorpion 
Sub Zero. Hey champ, I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations, but now it's time for a big test. We want The Lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live events in one of our top markets, L.A. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere. Even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want a main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I wouldn't mind smacking around Sami Zayn for old time's sake. Tried and true. I'll make it happen. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in L.A. promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Ugh! <sighs> 
here's your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought facing Sammy would be a match people wanted to see, but maybe they were tired of it and wanted something new. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off screen and on. Just like you, I was strong willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? Not much recently. Unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? 
I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not gonna wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Understood. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you? You're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? I still need more time to decide. I totally get it. Think it over and do what's best for you. Hopefully, that means joining my side. I'll let you know. Did you make up your mind about joining me? Yeah, I'm ready to be a part of Evolution. Good, you made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there.
Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed Evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw, and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this. The new look Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with Gabriel Slade to challenge the Street Profits for the World Tag Team titles. And they'll have to go through Omos and Carmelo Hayes while they're at it to walk away as tag champs. I can't remember seeing this much talent in the world. Slips out 
the back door of the chop block. Extending their opponent's arm. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. But what's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay.
It's the future of WWE. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. Is mine maybe a, a terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious Ricky. Big four. Ooh. And Locke gets surprised there. Uh-oh. Shifts it back onto him. Resolve might be wavering here. Yeah, Ford's having trouble fighting back. Oh man, oh, great! Turn the lights out. Oof. Ford did his homework there. Elbow on the spot. And he barely evades. Oh, that hurt. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Oh, come on, Cole. No one leaves a handicap match completely unscathed. Boom! And there's the cover. Tremendous win in this match. Absolutely. That's the kind of win that can catapult you to bigger and better things. Bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? <sighs> Sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to get out of line or anything like that. Good. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Evolution is a solid group, and we are even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what Randy told you to say? What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. What are you doing here? I'm here as a representative of the New Day, the longest tenured faction in WWE. Kind of like welcoming a new neighbor who just moved in. It's become our custom to welcome all new factions to WWE. There's even a gift basket coming for you and your Evolution friends. Full disclosure, 
Retribution broke up before we could give them theirs, so we repurposed some items. Be sure to check the expiration date on those summer sausages. Thanks, I guess. I'll let the other guys know you stopped by. If you ever need any tips on how to stick together as long as the New Day has, just let me know. Faction longevity and continuity not only equal success in the ring, but also outside. Have you thought about branding opportunities? We've mainly been focused on in-ring success. You know, winning championships. Think bigger. Evolution branded suits, collared shirts, uh, pleated pants, um, shiny shoes. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> maybe your faction doesn't lend itself as well to merchandising, but maybe it's something as simple as being on the cover of the WWE 2K video game. New Day has that honor this year, but if you play your cards right, that could be evolution for the next game. Why is New Day on the cover of the game? Evolution has the Raw Tag Team Championships, and I'm Intercontinental Champion. You have... nothing. New Day is a proven commodity! We've held Tag Team Gold over ten times, and we'll get those back soon enough. Maybe I'll even take your Intercontinental Championship, too. Would be a nice moment to feature in the game's New Day Showcase mode. That feels like a threat. Maybe Evolution will have to pay New Day a visit too. You know, just to thank you for the kind welcome. Now that feels like a threat. But I'm kind of busy, you know, merch, game stuff. So I'm gonna go now, again, welcome, and uh, good luck. Day rocks. You want to threaten us, huh? These are our titles. This isn't a game. You want to explain what the hell that was all about? You said I'm gonna be the guy someday, right? Well, I got started early and took charge of the situation. No, that's not how this works. How clear do I have to make this? I call the shots in evolution. You might be the lock, but you're not the leader. And Slade, you're not off the hook either. You went along with his stupid plan. No, you're right. I know I'm right. Have a mind of your own for once. Stop being a follower. It's what's held you back your entire career. <sighs> Understood. All right, enough about that. We need to focus on these singles matches before the situation gets any worse. It'll be me against Kofi. Gabe, you've got Big E. And Locke, you're up against Xavier Woods. Don't blow this again. With a path to the Raw Tag Team titles hanging in the balance, the New Day's Xavier Woods will be giving the Intercontinental Champion everything he's got tonight. And it still might not be enough. Woods will need Kofi or Big E to win one of their matches to earn the New Day a Tag Team title match. Is it me, or does the lock seem to be in the thick of the action every week? You have to wonder if it'll eventually take a toll on the rookie superstar. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Punch him in the chest. Uh-oh, sunset. 
set. Flip! Powerbomb! A powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Something they'll want to keep up. And that was a precisely measured attack. He must have had that scouted. Counter after counter. Launching himself in the ropes. Oh, man. Strikes with a kick. And well-timed maneuver there. Here comes Michael. Byron, you should try this once. One night stand. No thanks. Right. Xavier Woods with a oh man, face first, wheelbarrow, face buster. Quick count after one. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Cross the top rope all the way to the floor. Woods is feeling it, and he doesn't care. Who knows? was as one-sided as it gets. Damn it! Had that match won. They just got lucky against you guys. What I did against Xavier is a preview of how the tag title match will go. We'll beat them when it matters. Congratulations. You did your part in trying to get us out of a situation that you stupidly got us into to begin with. All over what, some jealousy over a video game? We care about championships and evolution. Get your priorities straight. That is what I care about. Okay, well, you're gonna get a chance to prove it. I got word that it's gonna be all three of us defending the championships against the New Day in a six-man tag. I look forward to showing you what I'm capable of. We will not lose. Championships on the line. May the best team win. If you're a fan of high octane sports entertainment, it doesn't get any better than Evolution versus the New Day for the Raw Tag Team Titles. The Intercontinental Champ may have held his own against Xavier Woods, but the New Day is coming into this six-man tag match with all the momentum. There are rumors of friction within Evolution. We'll see if that affects the outcome here tonight. Challengers a little worse for wear now. If I were him, Cole, I'd be looking for the tag right about now. You gotta know when to get your bearings in a tag match. Belly to belly. Oh. Pull that kick. Oh, well placed kick. Ooh. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. 
And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Ooh. Spiked with a Michinoku drop. Looks like he has other plans here. Ooh. And landing with the double axe handle. Oh! He knew that was coming. Lock put a stop to that. Great job refocusing. 
practicing to reverse that. Looking to catch him off guard. No trouble kicking out of that one. The ref barely started the count. He takes control. Big boot. Jeez. Kick to the stomach. Super kick. Good night. Be honest, do you think we could take Batista and Randy Orton? You still booking fantasy matches in your head? <laughs> you don't? I mean, it's hard not to make the comparison between our two groups. And then you start to think about how we'd measure up against the breakout stars from the original version. I hear you, but honestly, I've got no idea how that would go. Those guys were amazing and really worked well together. They were just hitting their stride, too. Yeah, I have a tough time seeing how it would shake out, too. All of our styles are so different, and a lot has changed since then. Can you picture it? It sounds like you want me to try. Classic tag team action set to get underway. Anything we should know, Corey? Tag. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Yeah, he might want to tag out. He still have the fresher teammate in right now. Not that he can't fend for himself right now. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Caught with a punch. Sherman suplex. But that's not all. Into a real court Larry, and what a combination. And there was some force on that move. And a kick. Oh, what a kick. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Hard oh, side kick. Ooh. Ooh. A sharp kick. Uh-oh. He was waiting for him to make his move. Body to the jaw. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. You've got some guts showing up here. Not really. See, Evolution and the Hurt Business don't have an issue. Until now. 
What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your Intercontinental Championship. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? Sure. Doesn't matter to me, because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away intercontinental champion. Okay, Lock. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. Come on, let's go. The Lock and Carmelo Hayes are squaring off tonight in a hotly anticipated non-title match between two superstars destined for greatness. The Lock has more than just his IC title with him tonight as Gabriel Slade will be joining him at ringside. Is Randy Orton losing trust in Locke's ability to get it done all by himself? Or maybe he sent Gabe out to keep an eye on MVP? It's hard to get inside the mind of the Viper. He manages to escape it. Caught with the boot. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm gonna be in your corner to make sure you hold on to your title. What's your deal? Do you think I can't win without your help? If you've forgotten, I was champion long before we joined up. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win. But I'm going to be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business would be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. 
Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's gonna think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion. The Phenom, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That evolution isn't some kind of crutch propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined Evolution, and now you need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck. the biggest threat the Hurt Business has to throw at him, Omos. I like what you did there, Cole. No two ways about it. Omos is a gigantic weapon, unlike anything else that exists in all of WWE. Omos may be over seven feet of ferocity, but don't forget about MVP and Carmelo Hayes, who can make their presence known at any time tonight. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Just floating through the air. Ooh. Avoiding contact. Oh, man. Ouch. And that was an efficient display of offense for that maneuver. Since its debut in 1993, it's no wonder why Raw has been the preeminent show in sports entertainment. Monday nights were changed forever after that debut. Boom, running it. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Gets the shoulder up. I didn't think this match was close to over. Caught in a bad position here. risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. From the top. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Recovered and grabs a hold of him. The lock's trying to free himself. And he does, but the referee got taken out. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? MVP making his presence known. Well, it looks like the Hurt Business are the ones who are going to capitalize. Choke slam down to the mat. Omas with a pin attempt. The referee's coming to. One, two, three. He did it. We have a new giant intercontinental champion. Ultimately, the combined effort of the Hurt Business is too much for the lock to handle, which makes you wonder, where was Evolution? And now MVP in the Hurt Business are taking it to the former champion. Again, where is Randy Orton? Where is Gabriel Slate? Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new intercontinental champion in Omas, but I agree, there's definitely something off with Evolution. Where's Orton and Slate? They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower. 
that I lack killer instinct, that it's held me back my entire WWE career. <laughs> I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the New Day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed. Repeatedly. What's next? You're gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. Let's face it. You're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. String of bad luck, or all part of the plan? It was bad luck. I had Omas beat before the ref got in the way and the Hurt Business cheated to take my title. But honestly, it's for the better. I feel like a, a weight has been lifted from me dead weight in the form of Orton and Gabe. I never felt comfortable in evolution, but now that that's all behind me, I can focus on what's next. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE Universe. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, you better be careful here. 
And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. A.K.A. the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that, and you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on, name one thing. Okay, let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions, to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work, because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit, throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success, because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Sean just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. You're fired! Did Sean Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay.
We've got a ton of moves to capture before our special guest arrives, so let's get through this as quickly as possible. We need footage of a top rope move. Come on, let's see what you do. Let's see a submission hold. Don't tap him out though, just need a shot of the actual hold. Give me a pin attempt, it can be any kind. Just make sure the match doesn't end. We need to get more footage. One. All right, taunt your opponent. Now taunt the imaginary crowd. What time does the MyRise crew get here? They're such a hassle to deal with. Oh, did I say that out loud? My bad. Give me an Irish whip in any direction. I don't care. All right, pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, Cole. Best heavy combo. Okay, might as well get some more combo footage. Give me a light one. It's a pleasure working with you, Cole. By the way, tell Buzz I said hi. Well, we're here. Might as well get footage of a grab attack. Go nuts. Hey, Locke, I know you were a big-time WWE superstar, but act like you want to be here. Let's keep things simpler. Just damage the heck out of Cole. Again, sorry, Cole. Pretend Cole is Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's it. Really let him have it. Let's focus on getting some defensive footage. How about a dodge? Jason in gameplay keeps bugging me to get more reversal animations. So execute a reversal so Jason will leave me alone. Friendly reminder to all talent and crew, please only use three squares of toilet paper. We have sensitive plumbing here. Hit a signature move while you're at it. Had a session like this since the one for 2K20. Yikes. Give me a finisher and hurry it up. It's almost lunch. All right, let's wrap this up soon. I just one, got word that our VIP two, guest has arrived. That's it. Ring the bell. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock? Doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> 
it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me! Actually, I think we have! You're fired! Again! Bye! Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Should we wake him up? Yeah, I think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the? Morning, sunshine. <sighs> What's going on here? Since you never returned any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Eh, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. And we agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Cat? 
I told you I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too. For me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right. We're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. This coffee ran straight through me. On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. Now, is that working out for you? There's a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes, you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learned is, you can wear the wig for a bit, and then you can always take it off. At least, it gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK, and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me you're ready to wear a wig. Okay, fine, I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister's the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. How are you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one, but here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? I'm already regretting this. Oi, suck it up! You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here, so there's no backing out now. Okay, Tavish isn't around. What'd you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks a situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. 
This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament. Especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself. Look who wore a wig. <laughs> and you're gonna get to wear it some more. It wasn't bad, I guess. Actually, kind of fun. Well, your next opponent is gonna be tougher. But the important part is that you're learning to get outside your comfort zone. And if you manage to win the match, even better. You have any kind of scouting report on this next guy? Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a pint. Nice blokes. Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a pint. Nice blokes. So, how did you know he's tougher then? Made it up. Seemed like a coach thing to say. Anyway, I'm headed back for another free round. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another win. Way to go. Thanks, but why are you wearing your old wrestling attire? Let me guess. The fans at the bar wanted pictures with you in it. No. It's not a bad idea. Could make some extra bread. Anyway, it turns out the bloke you were supposed to face got hurt in his last match and can't compete in the finals. So, yours truly volunteered to fill in. Seriously? Well, we couldn't send the fans home without a tournament winner now, could we? Besides, some of them are my mates now. Jimmy's getting married next month, and he asked me to perform the ceremony. Congrats. So what do you say? You versus me, British rules, made a best fully rested, slightly buzzed man win. All right. Let's do this.
WCW, and welcome to what's shown to be a night that will definitely never be lost to history. As Tamage, one of WCW's finest and most interpersonally off-putting stars, takes on the brand new blue-blooded bruiser, Jean-Paul Levesque. An agile escape. He's able to fend off the attack. Returning to the ring now. Ouch! Uh -huh. Exploder! It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Double under hook. He's getting a little batter now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. He saw that one coming. Just launched. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, ouch. Oof. Out of the way in time. Shot after shot, and will this be it? He gets an emphatic kick out. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. The kick right on the ear connects. Catching Levesque off guard. Oh, a sudden cut. John Paul's on Dream Street. Heck of a match, right? <laughs> How did you know? It took you having the performance of your lifetime, but you got the W. Damn right I did. <laughs> this all got me thinking. What if you and I had tagged together against Jean-Paul Levesque and another legendary superstar like British Bulldog? I, can you imagine what we could have done together? I can certainly try to. Welcome back to WCW, everyone, for what can only be described as a dream match between the unlikeliest of tag team mega talents. On the one side of the action, we've got John Paul Levesque and the British Bulldog representing the Union Jack, facing off against the always outspoken Tavish and his mystery partner, who I can't seem to place. Also, why are we calling a WCW match? Um, what's happening? Don't overthink it, Saxton. Embrace the chaos. Pendulum backbreaker. Big time. This match grinded him down a little. If he's smart, he'll make a tag soon. A break on the apron could help him mitigate this damage. He was elusive there. Big overhand. He's a fisherman suplex. He's turning. 
Savage face, Cole. He can't believe it. Well, if it isn't the most controversial man in wrestling. You're not following me now, are ya? <laughs> I could say the same to you. Shouldn't your boot be making contact with someone's face right about now? Claymore's taking a little break to recharge. I'm heading home for a few weeks to see my family. I'm actually heading the same way. Hardly with the similarities between us end. I respect you're doing things on your own terms. I've been there. But if you want to be the top dog, you're going to have to come back to WWE to face the best. Are you ready? The better question, is WWE ready for me? I knew I liked you, mate. You said you're heading my way. How about a sparring session when we get there? I'm sure we could both learn a thing or two from each other. Count me in. British rules? I want to give you a fighting chance. British rules? No problem. That's just my kind of match. Three, bring it!
Chosen? What are you doing here? The VIP range was closed. Broken pipe or something. I can't believe I have to wait down here with... Uh, everyone. Sorry to hear about your lounge issue, but I meant, what are you doing here at the airport? Oh, I've been on the road promoting Pro Wrestling Japan's upcoming Apex Tournament. It's going to be the biggest one ever. For the first time, it's going to include WWE superstars who previously competed in Japan. And me, of course. Interesting. You know, I'm on a bit of a comeback tour myself, and I'm a former WWE superstar who previously competed in Japan. Are there any spots left in the tournament? You're still wrestling? I thought you walked here at the airport now. I was going to see if you could get that pipe fixed for me. You look like a prama. No, I'm wrestling. And I'd love to get in the tournament if you can pull some strings. Hmm. There is one spot left. I can get you in a qualified match, if you do something for me first. This better not be about the broken pipe. I need you to say Chosen is the greatest restaurant in the world. Even better than the so-called Lock. Do that, and you will have the last spot in the Apex Tournament. <sighs> my desire to be in this tournament slightly outweighs my pride and dignity. I'll do it. Great. Whenever you're ready. Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. He is better than I ever was or ever will be. Say something else. 
and act like you mean it. Every wrestler on the planet should retire immediately because no one will ever compare to Chosen. We good now. Almost. Explain what would happen if you face Chosen in the Apex tournament. You know, just for my own self-confidence. <sighs> okay. If I'm unlucky enough to face Chosen, he will easily defeat me in mere seconds. Again, Chosen is the best. Okay, I'm done. Great. My social account's been on fire lately. But this is going to put it over the top. My fans, the Chosen Ones, are going to love hearing you say all that. What do you mean? Oh, that wasn't just for my self-confidence. I recorded what you said on my phone so I could post it. The entire world needs to hear you say Chosen is the greatest. <sighs> You're actually the worst. Sorry, I already stopped recording. Can't take back what you said. Good luck in the qualifying match. Don't blow it. The Apex Tournament is finally here. How are you feeling? A bit jet-lagged from the flight, but I'm sure once the bell rings, the adrenaline will take over and I'll be fine. Why is this tournament so important to you? This is a high-profile event where a successful showing would go a long way to rebuild my image. And of course, I wouldn't mind beating a few current WWE superstars in the process. Got it. So, this is the part where you explain the format of the tournament. You really need to start doing your research. The tournament's participants are split into two groups. Each group's wrestlers face off in round-robin singles matches. Wins are worth two points, draws one, and losses, zero. The winners of the two groups face each other at the Japan Dome to determine the tournament champion. And that's a big deal? Yes. I've competed there a handful of times earlier in my career, but only in opening matches. The final of the Apex Tournament will be the main event at the Dome. So yeah, I'd say that's a big deal.
I saw you won your first match too. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously. But I'm not here to talk about the tournament. I have some feedback on the video you did for me. You mean the video you recorded without my knowledge where you tricked me into saying all those lies about you? Yes, that's the one. After listening back to it, your performance was lackluster and uninspiring. I didn't believe anything you were saying. That's because I didn't believe it either. You're not better than me. And if I get the chance to face you, I'll prove that. <laughs> sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, the video still put up big numbers. After the edit, of course. I watched it, and the fart sound effects you added were a bit much. Can you delete it now? And then you would pay me the lost ad revenue? <laughs> Don't think so. Besides, I want it right from when I do a follow up video after I win the tournament. It's all part of my plan to build my following even bigger and conquer the wrestling world. That's my goal, too. Minus the lame social media content. I've seen your feed. That is lame. Anyway, only one of us can get to the top. And Locke already had his chance. It's my time now. We'll see. You're off to a good start so far. It's going to be a tough few weeks to get to the end of this tournament and come out on top. Any advice on how to survive? You showed you could tough it out in the British Rules Tournament. So, do more of that? Thanks, I guess. There is one way you could get some extra rest, but it would go against tradition. Typically, you participate in tag matches on tournament off nights, but you could skip them. So. You want to earn the respect of the Japanese fans and show them you have fighting spirit? Or tell PWJ and the fans to shove it and rest up. I'm not taking any shortcuts, and I'm certainly not going to risk disrespecting the Japanese fans. So I'll honor tradition and do the tag matches. Good call. I wouldn't have wanted to be seen with you if you chose the other option.
If I'm understanding the tournament format correctly, we're nearing the end of the round robin portion, and after a draw against Ricochet, you're now one point behind Finn Balor, headed into your final group match, which happens to be against Balor. That's right. So if I want to win the group to get to the finals and main event, the Japan Dome, I need to beat Finn. A loss or another draw and I'm headed home empty-handed. Well, hopefully you've at least picked up some cool souvenirs while you're here, so it wouldn't be completely empty-handed. The only souvenir I care about is the Apex Tournament Trophy. But to earn that, first I need to beat Finn, which will be no easy task. He's a top WWE superstar, so I'm sure he'll have some extra motivation to not be upstaged by me. If you beat Finn, it's looking like Chosen is a lock. Sorry. It's looking like Chosen's going to win Group B, so you'd face him in the finals. I'm not worried about Chosen. He's too concerned about his image and social media content to be a real threat. So if I get by Finn, the trophy's mine. I'm working on my victory post for after I win the tournament final. Do you think 50 fire emojis is too much? Or will it really drive home the point that I'm on fire? You ever hear the expression, don't count your chickens before they hatch? No. Why would I not want to count my chickens? How else would I know how many I have? That is dumb. Whatever. Point is... Let's see how the match turns out before you start celebrating. I already know how it's going to turn out. I went undefeated in the group stage while you had to win your last match just to barely clinch your spot in the finals. So, I have way more chickens than you. You're really not getting that. Also, your old friend Shawn Michael sent me a DM that he'll be watching our match. Probably wants me to be his next rock. I don't think Sean will be interested in signing you after I embarrass you in the ring. Now, who's counting their chickens?
I have another big opportunity for you to generate some buzz in a different part of the world. I'm gonna have to start paying you commission. What are you thinking? 25%, 30 or maybe 20% plus a cut of all future royalties? I was kidding. Right. Me too. Anyway, I could get you on a show in Mexico teaming up with Hector Flores. WWE sending him to Lucha Magica for a special appearance, and the local promoters are looking for a hot commodity to team up with him. I don't really cross paths with Hector much when I was in WWE, but I've heard he's a good guy. And if not, well, at least it'll be some good exposure. I'll do it. All right. And the flight's on you, since, you know, I'm not getting paid for any of this. Ah, uh, didn't know you were going to be here, too. Ah, uh, same. I had enough of you after the Apex tournament. Thought I could be look free for a while. Don't call me that. Okay. Look. Gentlemen, you're going to have to learn to get along better, since you'll be teaming together tonight. What? I thought you said Hector Flores was my partner. Hector is your partner. Both of yours. It's a trios match. You know, Lucha Libre tradition. You gotta stop doing stuff like this, Tavish. I knew you'd throw a tantrum and not want to do it, which is why I didn't tell you. So I'll stop doing this stuff when you learn how to get outside of your comfort zone. Are you two done yet? I don't want to do this either, but I'm not over here crying about it with a weird old wrestler who follows me around everywhere I go. Okay, I see your point about him, but it's too late to change the match. Just put your issues aside and work together. You don't have to be best mates or anything. Deal? It will be good content for my socials, I guess. So, I'll do it. Fine. But just this one match. That's it. Hey, Hector. I was happy to be teaming with you down here. Until I found out we were also teaming with Chosen. It will be fine. I've known Chosen for a while. He can certainly rub people the wrong way, but he means well. Maybe you're right. I'm willing to give this a shot if you are, I guess. But enough about Chosen. What have you been up to lately? It's been an interesting time for me in WWE. I turned down the chance to join Los Lotharios, and they've been messing with me ever since. Ha. <laughs> Faction trouble. I had my fair share of that in WWE, too. You're better off on your own. Yeah, in this case, at least. Anyway, I'm happy to see you doing so well now. I had heard you were having a hard time after WWE. Someone said you got into a fight with Sami Zayn at a video game shoot? <sighs> yeah. That happened. But it's all my past, and like you said, things are going well now. So let's keep the positive momentum going and get the W tonight. Sound good? Sounds good to me.
I'm sorry for getting you two involved in all this. That attack was my fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. And now, this is our fight too. We need to get revenge. But putting Chosen's mask on the line is taking things too far. I'm not a masked luchador, but I understand how important it is. Losing your mask can destroy your career. It could tear you apart both professionally and personally. So I've made the decision to call off the match. If this is our only chance at revenge, then I'm willing to take the risk. We are doing the match. What about your image? Your social media following? Your plan to be the best in the world? You could lose everything while we have nothing at stake. It's what you would do, right? I don't know. Before you went to WWE, the answer would have been yes. I actually looked up to you back then. You? Looked up to me? Yes. You are so confident in everything you did. But then you failed in WWE. And not because management held you back. You held yourself back because you lost that belief that you could succeed in any situation. You made excuses and blamed everyone instead of just doing the work. But I'm not going to make the same mistake. I see. That's a lot to digest there. Are you sure about this, Chosen? What if we lose? I can overcome any setback. That's actually another lesson he taught me. I mean, look at how terrible things got for him. Yet, here he is. I mean, he threw everything away. Like, it got really, really bad. He was a plumber at the airport. Okay, okay, I think we get the point, but how about we just don't lose? That works for me. All right, let's do this. You've had some time to think about what Chosen said. Were you surprised that he looked up to you at one point? Yeah, I was. I just thought he didn't look up to anyone. But it meant a lot hearing that and why he thought my WWE run didn't work out. I'm not sure if I agree with everything he said, but it was interesting to get that perspective. This mask versus hair thing is a huge deal in Mexico. It's actually called a lucha de apuesta, which means match with wager. Someone finally did their research. Like you said, 
It's a tradition that goes back a long way in Mexico, so I take it very seriously. I might have had my differences with Chosen, but he's putting so much on the line by agreeing to this. So, I'm going to do everything I can to not only get payback against Legado de Lotharios, but also protect his mask and legacy. We owe him that.
Have you heard what Noam Dahl's been up to lately? I've been a bit busy winning matches all over the world, so no. I haven't had time to keep up with Noam Dahl or NXT UK at all. Well, you're in luck, because I have been watching, and I'm really good at concise, informative recaps. Noam Dahl is now both the NXT UK champion and holder of the Heritage Cup, which, reminder, is defended under British rules. Recently, he issued an open challenge for anyone to face him for both of his championships. Not bad on the recap, but could have gotten to the point quicker. That open challenge is intriguing. If you're interested, I can put some feelers out with NXT UK. I am interested in answering the open challenge, but don't bother reaching out to NXT UK. I have a different plan. WWE likely won't play ball with me after how things ended. So what if I showed up unannounced? <laughs> are we doing an invasion? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. NXT UK and Heritage Cup champion Noam Dar has laid down his open challenge yet again and is waiting for anyone in the locker room to step up and answer it. So far, no one has been able to defeat the dual champion. Hold on. We have an unexpected trespasser here. Do your job, security. We're not focusing on what's going on to not give any publicity to someone who's unauthorized to be here. It looks like Noam Dar wants to let him stay. Then I guess we can say his name. The man formerly known as The Lock is trying to stage some kind of publicity stunt by showing up here at NXT UK. I may no longer be a WWE superstar, but that doesn't stop me from answering open challenges. So I'm ready to do this if you are. Noam Dar has informed me that he will accept the challenge as long as the match is contested under British rules. As far as we know, The Lock has never competed in a British rules match, while Dar specializes in this style as Heritage Cup champion. I'll do it. Let's go. 
Brilliant move by the champ. A guaranteed way to send this unwanted visitor home, beaten and embarrassed. We're going to have a former WWE superstar competing for two NXT UK championships. This is insane. Please, for the love of God, no Dar, just win this match. After a shocking turn of events, the former WWE superstar, once known as The Lot, has just turned NXT UK upside down. That's right, Michael. He showed up out of nowhere to challenge Noam Dar for both his NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup. Pretty ambitious, if you ask me. He may no longer be The Lot, but he certainly looks locked into me. And he better be if he wants to come out of this British Rules match with some new hardware instead of a restraining order. <laughs> If this lands, it might be all over. So I went driver. Oh, goodness, what a moonsault. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Able to get the advantage here. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Punch him in the chest. Defensive instincts need to kick in. Oh, super shoulders down. One, two, three, three. Oh, no way. Two. Noah went down in a heap. A non-contracted, disgruntled former employee just walked in here and captured not one but two and. UK Championship. This is a dark day in WWE. It is, but more importantly, how do we move forward? Is the former lock back in WWE now? This is pure, absolute chaos of the worst kind. I don't know what's going to happen either, but maybe the new champion can shed some light on his next move. If you haven't been keeping up with my career since I left WWE, I've been busy rediscovering what made me the next big thing and the lock in arenas all around the world. But one thing's been missing. I haven't had any hardware to show off. That changes now. Wrestling fans everywhere, this NXT UK Championship and that Heritage Cup are coming to an arena near you. Are you kidding me? Is he stealing the NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup? It certainly looks that way. Again, where are the police or the Bobbies or whatever the hell you want to call them here? Now you can add assaulting security and a referee to the rap sheet. Somehow, a dark day in WWE just got even darker. I might as well cancel the rest of the show. Just shut it all down after that. So, that's what you meant by playing it by ear, huh? It's what felt right in the moment. You've always told me to trust my gut, right? Sure, but sometimes your gut is wrong. I mean, after all, it's just a gut. It's got no brain cells or anything. Are you not on board with this? No, no, I'm on board. It's just, you know, lawsuits and such. A bloody hell. I stick it to WWE. <laughs> That's more like it. So, you're the master planner. Where's the first stop on the I stole the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup World Shore? We need to think of a catchy name to that. We're going to take things back to where this crazy ride all started.
guys are to sing and wrestling, but honestly, how long can this go on? Is there a plan here? Or is he just avoiding a real challenge of returning to the place he failed? All valid points. Have you talked to him about this? I tried, but he didn't want to hear it. Plus, there's possible legal action from WWE. This could get ugly. I might have to do what I do best and gently guide him to make the right decision. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. Come on, we're going to miss our flight to Mexico. And since when do you do interviews? What are you even saying, anyway? Time to go.
We've got a bit of a problem. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup have gone missing. I swear I had them through customs when we got back. Do you think the airline somehow lost them? Or maybe they were stolen? Oh, this is bad. Okay, just calm down. How can I calm down when the two things that have helped make me the hottest thing in wrestling are missing? Uh, let's get this straight. You made yourself the hottest thing in wrestling. It's not about the hardware. And they're not missing. I made a deal with WWE. What do you mean you made a deal? You've had your fun, joyriding around the world, but now it's time to face the challenges head on. And that means returning to WWE. So, I handed over to the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup in exchange for you getting your job back. I'm not sure I agree with how you handled this, but I get why you did it. You're right. Maybe it is time to go back. I am right. And are you honestly surprised I did this? It's kind of my thing. No. Should have seen it coming a mile away. What can I say? I went with my gut. I wasn't going to sit back and let you make the same mistakes I made in my career. So you're going back to WWE to become the megastar you were destined to be. All right. I guess we're headed to Raw. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I think deep down I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. It's time to take this challenge head on and make up for how things ended. This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. And there's only one goal in mind. Get to the top and become WWE Champion. Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being the luck? Current look. Like I said, I've had a lot of success on the international scene. I feel comfortable with what I'm doing, and I want to keep that going in WWE. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting, because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. Yeah, Slade, or as I knew him, Gabe. Look, I don't care who's champion. It could be an old friend, it could be an enemy, or someone I've never even met before. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I'm taking their title. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you've basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Here we go. Just like riding a bike. Only, there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. You got this. It's been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. <laughs> we'll be seeing you around. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Shawn Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight.
No welcome back gift basket? No, not after what happened with you last time. I can't even look at our WWE 2K game cover now without having flashbacks. I'm sorry. I was under a lot of pressure and trying to find my way with a new faction, but I've gained some perspective in my time away from WWE. So what do you say we start over? I can consider that, but an I'm sorry gift basket would help your cause. If that's all it takes, then do. And maybe a skywriting apology message as well. <laughs> Don't push it. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I didn't. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was the lock. And I'm here to tell you, the lock is officially dead. From now on, you're gonna get the real thing. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Unfiltered, uncuffed, and unleashed. And now, nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. But now that I'm back, what's really... Here we go. These two have some serious history. We heard Shawn Michaels had a major announcement regarding this man's future. And this could be it. Beautiful speech. Almost even had me believe in you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade. But let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Well, I'm back. So you don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, about that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. A little detail you might want to consider. And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE permanently. Forever, or as you said, 
knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback thing. Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. Didn't work out so well for you last time, did it? Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days. Why wait? Give me a championship match against my old buddy Slade, and we'll get this over with tonight. No chance. 58 days. It's WWE Champion Slade. Slade looks determined as he heads toward the ring. Yeah, determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former Locke left WWE. Slade may have taken a back seat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but his boss Shawn Michaels just said there wouldn't be a title match tonight, so I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. Convenient how that happened when I was gone. Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. So if you want to take your shot at my title and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now. Wow, this is Don't actually going to gonna happen? I understand that I got this. Trust me. Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. We're going to have an impromptu WWE Championship match between two former faction mates right here, right now. I, I don't get this. The championship deadline was set at 58 days. You don't give the man a title match on night one. I agree, Corey. There has to be more to this plan. Nonetheless, here we go. I might need to get my glasses checked to make sure this is actually happening, but Slade and his former Evolution teammate are squaring off right now for the WWE title. It's happening, Michael! The artist, formerly known as Luck, is back! He sure is, and he wants the entire WWE Universe to know that the only name he wants from Shawn Michaels is WWE Champion. Oh, the stomp in every single part of his body. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Able to elude it. Back and forth from these competitors. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Uh-oh. He must have seen that coming. Oh, my. Devastating impact to the back. Drop toe hold. Oh, he counters right back on Slade. Reversal on top of reversal. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. We can have a new champion here! What the heck? Shawn Michaels just pulled the referee out of the ring. What kind of behavior is that by our VP of talent development? Shawn wasn't going to let the title change hands like this. Not with the championship deadline in play. Orton and Braun Breaker from behind. Evolution's taking advantage of the interference from Shawn Michaels. Was this all part of Evolution and Michaels' plan in accepting the match? And Breaker nails the military press power slam. Now Slade's gonna try to steal this. And of course, Shawn Michaels is now helping the referee back in the ring. Slade got him. The champion retains. The challenger never really had a chance against the combination of Evolution and Shawn Michaels. I don't see how he's going to win the championship in the next 58 days with the deck this stacked against time. him like this. My ring, my show. You don't belong here. I do. <laughs> this is just getting worse now. Is this really necessary? <laughs> it's former WC. 
ECW superstar Tavish. He's been a mentor to The Rock and played a key role in his resurgence. And now he's playing a key role in his beatdown. This is too much for an aging veteran to overcome. And Braun locks in the recliner. Breaker's gonna force him to watch as his mentor is taken out by Evolution. What are they doing now? Slade Runner onto the steel chair. This is not how he expected his big return to go here tonight. Welcome back to WWE, Locke. You've got a long, daunting road ahead of you. I agree, but I don't know about the long part. He's got less than 60 days to take Slade's championship, or he's gone from WWE forever. This is not looking good. Certainly long odds to overcome. Rough first night back. How you doing? I've been better. Wasn't planning on fighting the WWE Champion and his entire faction. Thought maybe we'd ease into things and build up to that. Yeah, same. Well, thanks for trying to help. I had no idea Sean was going to pull that stunt with your contract. What'd he say? 58 days to win the title or you're gone? Yep. SummerSlam or bust. Well, I doubt you're going to get another opportunity tonight, so really, it's 57 days. How many actual events is that? 57 days is like eight weeks, with one Raw a week, plus a premium live event, so you might have, what, like nine chances left? Then again, it's not like you're going to get a title match every show. They actually might do everything in their power to never give you another title match at all. Is any of that supposed to make me feel better? I know it's going to be tough, but I've already overcome so much just to get back here. I'll figure out a way to beat this, too. I believe in you. I really do. But this feels different. You think I can't do it? No, I think you're outnumbered. You can't just brute force this on your own like you always do. You're gonna need help to pull it off. I got you, don't I? As you saw tonight, it's pretty much the same as being on your own. You need to lean on someone other than me. You did it in Mexico, now's the time to take it to the next level. They have numbers. So even up to sides. So you want me to join a faction? That didn't work out too well the last time. I wasn't saying you should join a faction. I was saying you should start your own and lead one. You're ready. I guess I don't really have another option, do I? Not unless you want to keep getting beaten up three on one for the next 57 nights and then be gone from here for good. Well, then I better start looking. Clock's ticking. Sounds like you already have Hector's help if you want it, but it still leaves you a man short if you want to even up the sides. You have any suggestions? I know I said you needed to lean on off of people, but I'm willing to reconsider. If you're willing to do me a favor. What are we talking here? I had a lot of regrets about how my WCW run ended. One of the biggest was I was supposed to face Goldberg during his legendary undefeated streak. I know I could have been the one to end it, but a match never happened after I quit. So help me get a match against Goldberg, and I'll join your faction. That's kind of weird. I mean, you just got beaten up by Slade and his crew. Shouldn't you want revenge without all this Goldberg stuff? If I'm gonna put my body on the line for you, I need this win against Goldberg. Besides, it'll be a massive confidence boost for me to get that monkey off my back. Goldberg is a very large, scary monkey to try to get off your back. It's no guarantee you'll beat him. I've dreamt about it for 25 years, and in my dreams, I beat him every time. And this will be no different. Just make the match happen, okay? 
I think Goldberg's been training at the PC lately. I'll talk to some people there and see what I can do.
I told you I could do it. The Goldberg monkey is officially off my back. <laughs> it was 25 years late, and in a training match with no cameras rolling or an audience to see it, but still, <laughs> what a feeling! <laughs> I'm happy for you. So, I guess that means you're on board to join my faction now. Oh, hell no. I was never gonna actually join. I'm ancient and just spent everything I could to pull a fast one on Goldberg. <laughs> now, I mainly wanted that match for my ego. And, of course, to show you how you can leverage favors to recruit superstars to join your fight. Like I said before, you can do much better than me. Seriously? I just jumped through so many hoops to make this happen. Well, I hope you're ready to jump through some more. Because that's how this is going to work. And it's not like you've been the most friendly, outgoing type in your time here. So, it might be a bit of an uphill battle. People like me? Debatable. Anyway, I have a feeling the more restless you get to join your faction, it'll attract even higher profile superstars and legends to help your cause. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. And finally, whenever you got two wrestlers you think make up the best faction to take down Slade and his group, come find me and let me know. Got all that? Yeah, I think so. Good luck, kid. I'm gonna go celebrate my big win. But you should probably get to recruiting. Time's running out. It's been a winding road for the WWE superstar known as The Lock. And his journey takes another unexpected twist here tonight against Doink the Clown. Let go of that. He's got him covered. And he doesn't stay down for long. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. That catches Doink looking. Oh. First one missed. Second one didn't. Effective. Taking off from the ropes. He eludes the contact. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Double axe handle. 
Table smash. He's absorbed some damage already. Here we go. High risk cross body. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Oh, my goodness. Everything working against Doink now. Yeah, Doink needs to rethink his strategy fast. Run right through with the spear. Goodness. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And landing with the double axe handle. Doink steers clear there. Getting back into the ring. Will that keep Doink grounded? Is it enough? The And that will about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Scorpion. Just wanted to say thanks for the apology gift basket you sent New Day. It really meant a lot. No problem. Sorry all that ever happened. All is forgiven. And now that we're on better terms, I was dismayed to see the precarious situation you found yourself in. Is there anything I or the New Day can do to help? Actually, I am looking to start a faction of my own to help get me out of all this. I know you'll always be a part of New Day, but... Maybe you'd be interested in a dual faction membership? <laughs> I'm intrigued, but we've certainly had our share of ups and downs, mostly downs. The gift basket was nice, but not enough to prove we could work together. Let's team up in a match and see how it goes. Then we'll talk. So essentially a trial period? That works for me. Great. I'll get the faction paperwork started. There's paperwork? Of course not. Just a little faction humor. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. Of all the superstars I'd have picked to team up with the former Intercontinental Champion, Xavier Woods probably would have been the last. The rumor has it that the pair have mended their fences since that catastrophic WWE 2K cover shoot. But I'll believe it when I see it. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Ooh, that hurt. Man, strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Wow, springboard attack. Boom. Strikes with a kick. Boom. He's taking some good hits. Right now he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here. Or I'm going to answer this call and pay him back. Moonsault. Moonsault. Ooh. Oh, kick connects. Ooh. Eric's able to dodge that. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Turning the tables there. Uh-oh. Clearly waiting for that. Arnold side kick. Four. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Bam. And he barely evades. And we just saw some serious offense. like he still has some gas left in the tank. Placed in the corner. Eric gets countered. An overbearing amount of offense against Eric here. Every form of offense Eric attempts is being neutralized. On the knee, smashing the face. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may too. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. I'll save you the big song and dance. I know you're looking for people to fight your battles, and obviously, I'm your top choice. But if you want my help, you're gonna have to do something for me first. Some of that was accurate, but what'd you have in mind? 
Corey Graves has been running around this past year saying how his show with Carmella is so much better than my show with Maurice, and I'm sick of it. I mean, their show isn't even on TV. Anyway, I would never lower myself to attack an announcer, but maybe someone else would, if you get my drift. With the situation I'm in, nothing is beneath me. Good. Corey trains at the PC on his off days. Head down there and shut him up. Hey bro, know you're looking for help, but I'm gonna cut to the chase. You're kinda uptight, and I've already been through that with Randy. No way, bro. Me? Uptight? I'm super cool, so relaxed. We could definitely hang. <clears throat> bro? <laughs> okay, bro. Then show me you can let loose by riding a scooter out to your next match while copying my entrance. Do that, then I'll know you can hang. Deal. I just need to borrow your scooter. You don't already have one? I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> Mine's in the, uh, shop. The scooter repair shop, which is definitely a real thing. Oh, okay, bro. You can totally bogart mine. Look forward to seeing your goofy side. A cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Riddle is here to fight. Wait, that's not Riddle. What the heck is going on here? Uh, I don't know, but he's acting like Riddle, scooter and all. I have no idea why he or anyone for that matter would want to do this. He's actually pretty good on that scooter. Maybe he's been practicing. 
Is this really the time for goofing off like this? He's got a deadline approaching where he needs to win the championship or he's gone from WWE forever. I think I'd be more focused on that. Or maybe there's more to this we don't know about. Or maybe the stress of the deadline has caused him to lose it. Who knows? He certainly got Riddle's mannerisms down, Pat. Again, I hate to be the downer, but that's not going to help him win this match, let alone overcome the difficult odds he faces trying to gain Slade's championship before SummerSlam. I just don't get it. Veer Mahan, the so-called lion of WWE, will kick things off here tonight. What's to say about Veer that he isn't going to show you himself? The man's a ball of fire, and frankly, there isn't much he loves more than striking fear into the hearts of his opponent. Well, the question is, who has the courage to stop him? Truly a rising power player here in the landscape of WWE. Yeah, but meeting him in the ring's quite an obstacle. There's nothing about this superstar that signifies he'll be a pushover. Oh, the physicality play there. Unbelievable. Ah, flipping the script on him there. Punch him in the chest. Mahan with the reversal. Reversals. Reversals and more reversals. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Three. Turn your lights out. Oof. Kick finds it. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. With a pin. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count.
Sunset. Flip. say this, but the former Locke has teamed up with his WWE nemesis Sami Zayn to take on Alpha Academy here on Raw. The newly returned Super... Looking for an early pin. Still too fresh. Oh, that hurt. And he's able to reverse. He went right into that turnbuckle. Monkey flip! He goes for the cover. Kick out. He needs a little more than that to end things this early. Ooh, that hurt. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Knee right to the face. My goodness, did you hear that shot?
with Shawn Michaels' deadline looming. The former locks road to a WWE Championship will have to go through Shinsuke Nakamura. The road better not be that long, Cole. He's only got till SummerSlam. And with his Apex Tournament trophy on the line, the former champion really can't afford to take any steps back. He needs to add hardware, not lose it. And that was a precisely measured attack. Ooh. He foiled that attempt. Up top, Samoa Driver. Catapulting down on the opponent. Ooh. He's getting a little battered now. He had to be prepared to take some damage from it. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Ooh. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Don't do it! Oh, God! No, that was a harebrained idea to try that. I was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. trophy of WWE and Pro Wrestling Japan and included him in the tournament, but he might not be feeling that way anymore. Well, at the very least, maybe this will give Nakamura some closure and he can move on with his career. Quick 
exchange of counters there. And another counter. He's looking a little weird. The longer the match goes on, the more damp. Is this really it? Coming back in the ring. Not over yet. Oh. AJ with the wherewithal to avoid that. Face wash. Ooh. Evades their offense. Oh, God. Knee meets face. Styles has the momentum against him here. AJ's got to find a window to fight back. Just ragdolled to the outside. Look at this. Oh, no. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. And well-timed maneuver there. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This Look at this now, draping his opponent over the announced desk. How do you so far? Oh, the table. Everything's been turned inside out. How far is too far for these superstars? After that, I don't know if you're going to want that answer, Saxton. Seven, we may be getting to the end. He stands up and stops the ref's count. You can't keep him down. Heads out of the ring. What's next? And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. AJ is going to slow this momentum down. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Setting them up. This is going to be nasty. Oh, oh man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Oh, adios. Will he be able to capitalize? from that one, so it's called. Here is your winner. Wow, it is like looking in the mirror. Not sure what you mean by that. I'm just saying our careers have taken a similar course. We both cut our teeth in the international circuit. We both were touted as future champions when we debuted here. We both were let go. And then... We both returned and won the championship. Well, you haven't done that part yet. I hadn't really thought about all that, I guess. And I'm working on the championship part. It's actually kind of creepy. Are you intentionally copying me? No, just a coincidence. But we could actually work well together because of everything we have in common. Talking about your new faction, huh? I don't know. Maybe we're too similar to coexist. We might butt heads. We're not that similar. I mean... I didn't go to NXT when I came back to WWE like you did. That's true. I did have a nice run there when I beat Robert Roode for the NXT Championship. Maybe you could prove how different we are by taking on Roode on NXT, but beating him in under five minutes, which is a lot less time than it took me. That's 
exactly what I was thinking. That is kind of creepy. See? Anyway, give it a go, and we'll talk. NXT may be a change of scenery for Robert Roode, the superstar formerly known as The Lock, but the objective remains the same. Score a crucial W. And do it fast. Both competitors will only have five minutes to get the job done. Time is certainly running out on the former Lock's chances at winning a WWE Championship. Tag Team Wrestling doesn't get much better than what we're about to see as the former Locke and Cody Rhodes team up to take on Riddle and Butch. And the state... This couldn't be more personal. Cody and his partner are fighting to bring home the Dusty Classic Trophy to the Rhodes family's trophy case. Pretty tasty subplot to play, too. Cody could become... Sent hard to the outside. The superstar picking up speed. No oh, oh, wrecking ball. Drop kick. Just takes from the apron. Oh, no that is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Hits him with the counter. Oh, God. Ooh. He's in a little off balance. Yeah, even though he's still got a lot of fight in him, he might want to make a tag now and not risk further harm. Look at Rock! His lights 
Spencer off. Cover. Is it enough? And he stops the count for his partner. He's ejected from the ring. The American Nightmare feeling that adrenaline in his soul. And that could be a first step towards Riddle gaining control. But he still has more work to do to get this fully in his favor. He's got 11. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. My goodness. And hey, covers a great time to stretch your thighs. Ooh. My goodness, look at this. Over and over. And Butch fending him off. Brief sign of adrenaline from Butch. A menacing look from Butch. On the side, Connie. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Oh, boom! Hoping to end it here. isn't the same as winning the actual tournament. Just having this trophy in his possession is huge for Cody Rhodes. And a sign of good sportsmanship from Riddle. Honestly, even he has to realize this trophy's in better hands now. Yeah, but at least no one will be eating cereal out of it anymore. Congrats again to Cody Rhodes. In a surprising last-minute twist, the WWE superstar, formerly known as The Lock, is filling in for Brock Lesnar. Not such a surprising twist if you know Brock's been busy on a hunting trip all week. Come on, Cole, do your homework. Either way, the former Lock will have a tall order filling Brock's boots. Vicious combination of strikes. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Ooh, ooh, stinging kick. Able to get out of the way. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Into the corner. This can't be good. Counter on Guther pays off. Ooh, hello. 
He's in the ropes. Springboard into the kick. That was disastrous. He's lost some of his win now. He planned for this and could still rally. Counters. Oh my gosh, what impact. Headlock Simpson just tossed without regard. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Oh, well, he knew what was coming. <laughs> Up top. Dolph Ziggler is looking to make an impact tonight on Raw as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic Warriors, Sheamus. From behind, Dolph might not make it to his match tonight. What the hell is this all about? And we'll kick off this backstage brawl here. Corey, did you get a chance to hide your luggage? I did see the rundown and stashed it away, but I did put Saxton's bags in plain sight. Ow. Elbow drop, piercing. What a counter! Man, strikes! Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Oh! Yeah. My goodness, look at this! Looks like he's got 11 arms and feet. Whipped into the table. No! Oh! He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. This is not going to be pretty. Not there. Oh, not like man. that. Flapjack. He was elusive there. A counter answered by another counter. Harlem sidekick! What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh, my! Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. And Dolph got bottled up there. Oh, a knee to the face. Super kick! 
Dolph gets out of there. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Ah, oh, vicious knee to the face. He steers clear of contact. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. He's got him scouted. Running knee lift. It's always disorienting, taking those hits above the shoulders. Ow! Oh, my gosh! Oh, man! Good defense. Ah! Oh, Northern Lights! Broken up with a... The corner! Run right through with the spear. Right on cue, Dalt reverses. Ziggler with the famous sir. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Ooh, that hurt. Just like that, Dolph dodges away. Uh-oh. And uses the arm drag to reverse. Running knee lift. And more attacks up there could leave him stunned. Each blow affecting his equilibrium. He's way up high now. No, 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 no! Oh, man. Please, stay down. Looks like you get your wish, Saxton. This brawl is over. Usos have sat atop the WWE Universe ever since teaming up with Roman Reigns, and they'll look to extend their streak of dominance against the former lock. Nobody in WWE works together more seamlessly than Jimmy and Jey Uso, so I expect their opponent to be backpedaling this entire bout with the bloodline. Backpedaling? I expect the former lock to be on his actual back for a three count pretty quickly. Ooh. Ooh. Double axe handle. Oh, flying with the moonsault. Expected that one. Jumping clothesline. What agility. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Really wrenching it. Oh. He's got the answer for that one. And off the tag is Jimmy Uso.
gets intercepted. Boom, what a punch! Clubbing strike breaks up that move. It's a family affair tonight in WWE as Ray and Dominic Mysterio are teaming. What a tank down the And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. Right now, he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here, or I'm going to answer this call and pay him back. Oof. Oh, look at this combination of strikes. Things not going well now for Angel. Can Angel recover from this adversity? And there was some force on that move. Oh, well placed kick. Ooh, oh, sliding elbow. My, oh my, what elevation. Boom. Super oh, a spear. Angel is in the worst way now. Bar isn't looking helpless and here he goes for the win! Then he closes it out. <laughs> and a Tuesday match by a victory to Saber. Here are your winners. Scorpion.
but somehow Elias and his brother Ezekiel are teaming together here on SmackDown. Are they using holograms? Body doubles? Or maybe it's augmented reality? Hey, all I know is if it's throwing us for a loop, imagine what it's doing to their opponent. Or maybe they're actually two separate people. Either way, pulling this off and then getting the win could prove Elias deserves to be in John Cena's 2K showcase after all. And landing with the double axe handle. My, oh my, what elevation. Ooh, this match grinded him down a little. And he's hanging tough so far. Laying waist to the back of the neck. Crossbody wipes them out. Momentum is running away from Elias. Yeah, Elias needs to figure things out quick. And that was an effective attack, guys. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. And did you hear the impact of that? Nasty knee. Elias moves out of the way. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. He saw that one coming. And responds with a counter of their own. Evades the attack. Oh, impact. With the reversal. Brutal knee right to the face. Out of nowhere. RKO. Elias' eyes look glazed over. There's few matches in WWE more challenging than any man over the top of Battle Royal. That's exactly what we're witnessing here tonight. And Battle Royal is only as exciting as the superstars who show up, Cole. Luckily, this match is absolutely stacked with next level talent. Of everyone involved, I've got my eye on the superstar formerly known as The Rock, who has more to prove than just about anyone in WWE right now. Suplex brings it down. This is going to be nasty. Yeah, that was a nasty Samoan driver. Thank God, Ricochet has been eliminated. And that was some brutal impact on that DDT. Around we go into the tilt a world face buster. Gets inside the ring. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. you want to be grounded. Thompson has been eliminated. Oh, I had that well scouted. And this is just a vulgar display. And the center has been Not eliminated. Cut. Enough! Oh, right in there. And there was some force on that move. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. 
Golly. He's looking a little off balance. Snap power slam. Shelton Benjamin has been eliminated. Attack. Matt holds back Theory's attack. And there you see Evolution's Randy Orton, fresh off a momentum-building win over Kevin Owens. It's Orton's former Evolution teammate. Where'd he come from? These two can't stand each other. This should be good. What's going on here? It, it looks like we have a communication breakdown backstage. And oh my God, there they go. Oh, and that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Up and oh, man. down the hard way. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Up and laid down with a power bomb. Uh -oh. Able to reverse. Uh -oh. Classic Orton. Boom! A forearm smash! And some effective offense with that one. Oh, look at this wicked striking ability. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Boom! Wow! Lights out. And that was an effective attack, guys. Boom! What a kick. Oof! Ooh! Stinging kick. Ooh! The Viper escapes hard. Oh, what a wind up. Bang! Oh, oh. <laughs> Never saw it coming. And we see the attention being. <laughs> up and. I don't see them getting up after that. And <laughs> with good reason. That brawl. So, did you find a couple of blokes have got your back? Actually, 
I did. Great. Are you ready to move forward, then? Remember, once you make this decision, you can't go back and change your mind. Besides, there's no time for that with your championship deadline approaching, so you better be absolutely certain. I hope you're right, for your sake. Evolution has arrived in style to Monday Night Raw. Whoa! Evolution's getting ambushed. They were not expecting this. Orton into the side of the limo. There's broken glass everywhere. We've take heard rumors that a new faction was forming to take on Evolution. This must be it. And Braun Breakers tossed headfirst into the limo. This is pure chaos. Not so fun now that I've evened up the sides, is it? I'm coming for this title, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Now what? I think they're gonna flip over the limo. This is insane. <laughs> Impact, Evolution, Shawn Michaels, and all of WWE, for that matter, has been put on notice. I can't believe this group that's been assembled. This next month is going to be very interesting. So far, so good. I knew you'd make a great leader. Also, I'm enjoying a new bus. I could get used to this. Don't get too comfortable. If things don't work out for me, the bus goes along with everything else. Fair enough. Well, more motivation, I guess. You think you're ready for the big match later tonight? I think so, but it's our first time teaming together in an actual match. Even though we looked good earlier, it might take us a bit to gel. I hear you, but you better get it together fast. They're a well-oiled machine, and I have a feeling Shawn Michaels is going to strike back in some way. Be careful. Thanks. We will be. After a stunning attack earlier tonight that sent shockwaves through WWE, the former Locke leads his two new allies against his previous faction and a dramatic three-on-three three match. You hear that, Cole? That's the sound of the SummerSlam deadline getting closer and closer. The new faction leader can't afford to lose any ground against Evolution. And I bet Slade and company would do nothing more than to crush their former teammates' momentum. Not to mention, pay him back for that little visit in the parking garage. Knee strike. Both arms captured and vitriolic stops. Oh, just in case the first few didn't hurt, there's another. He deflects it right back. He's getting a little batter now. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up. He's got the shoulders down. He's able to kick out before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up.
He really thought that was it. Yank him right off the apron. Oh, no. Precision elbow sends them crashing to the outside. A striking blow. Ooh, that Fighting back with a counter. Headed to the top now. Look at this. Snap suplex. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. This is it. Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Wicked kick to the face. Get him into the corner. There's a tag. With a close line. Oh, what a kick! Oh, oh close line! Uh oh. <laughs> He's tagging out. Gets the better there. Coming in hot. Bad predicament right here. Oh, lights out. Face first. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. He's absorbed some damage already. Watch the quickness on this. Bang! Snap suplex. Randy Orton's just daring his opponent to take their best shot. A knee smash. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Uh-oh. Gets the gut to end the offense. with evolution. Unbelievable. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Or, in this case, two of the most powerful factions in WWE. I mean, just when you thought you had evened up the sides, we were two steps ahead. So, good luck winning the championship saving your career now. And the WWE Champion nails the Slade Runner. Evolution started this night on their heels.
But now we end the night looking at a brand new super group led by Shawn Michaels. More powerful than anything we've ever seen before. You have to feel for the former Locke who looked to have captured momentum in his quest to win gold and remain in WWE. But now he's suffered a major setback. Let's be real, guys. This is more than a setback. It's a career-ending roadblock. And we've seen him overcome long odds before, but I agree, this does not look good. <sighs> a tough night out there. We'll catch up back at the bus. <clears throat> what do you want? Just came to check on you and let you know that it's over. <laughs> you lost. It's not over yet. I still have time. Maybe. But how do you think you're gonna get another WWE Championship match? I hold all the cards. I have a proposal. Next week, I'll take on someone from your new super group. If I win, I get a title match at SummerSlam with a chance to beat the deadline. And if you lose? Then we can forget about the deadline. I'll leave WWE immediately. So, basically, if things go our way, <laughs> and they will, I can get rid of you sooner than I planned? I like the sound of that. You have yourself a deal. So who am I gonna face next week? Let's keep that a surprise. But I will give you a heads up on one thing. The match is going to be no disqualification. So good luck stopping us. After an inspirational return to WWE, the former Locke is risking everything to keep his dreams of a WWE Championship match alive against Braun Breaker. Call it a cliche, but the stakes are absolutely through the roof. A no disqualification match with no future in WWE if he can't break the Breaker. Uh oh! Somersault plancha! It's like a heat seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. and came to their senses and realized the pin does no good here. If this lands, it might be all over. Samoan driver. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stops. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. Look at this. Clutching the wrist. Oh, oh my God! Torturing their opponent, just mangling the opposition. Oh, ow! Oh my! Inflicting pain at will, and landing with a double axe handle. Oh man, what a boot! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. And he saw that coming from Braun. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. The steel chair never as innocent as it looks. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Oh, uh, yeah. We should probably clear the way, guys. He climbs into the ring. Him up. Braun's opponent is taking advantage of this no disqualification match. Shawn Michaels is here to also take advantage of the lack of rules. Michaels is calling in the cavalry. This is going to be a repeat of last week. How can anyone stop this super group? But where are they? That's one way to stop them. Have your faction take them out before they can get to you. Smart move by their leader, but can he capitalize and win this match? Randy Orton's here and he has no idea. Low blow from Orton. The Vipers lining up an RKO. And just a reminder, this is all perfectly legal. 
Oh, wait, what? Where did he come from? Well, that's international star Chosen. It looks like the former Lock had an ace up his sleeve. But Braun Breaker is recovered, yes. and he's got a kendo stick. Oh, he reverses. Now he's battering Braun Breaker <laughs> repeatedly with that kendo stick. Wait, is he setting up Braun Breaker for his own move? And he locks it in with the kendo stick. Can Braun Breaker hold on? He can't. Braun tapped. It's over. And more importantly, he lives to fight another day and will take on Slade for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. Somehow he found a way to pull this out, and now he has an opportunity to strike before the championship or bust deadline expires. We'll see about that. But Shawn Michaels and company can't be pleased with how this turned out. They thought they were putting this all to an end, and instead, the fate of this man and the WWE Championship will be decided at SummerSlam. Big one out there, but bloody hell, you didn't think to tell me about Chosen? I thought about it, but then I also thought it'd be more fun to pull a Tavish on you. Not the same. You don't know how to do a Tavish. Either way, I couldn't risk it getting out. We needed any advantage we could get against them. Well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I have a message from WWE management. What does Shawn Michaels have to say for himself now? No. Not Sean. This came directly from the top. All this faction warfare has been big for ratings, so they want to see it continue. There will be a faction versus faction match to determine who gets to pick your stipulation at SummerSlam. Our side against Sean's. War Games. We've already been in a battle. I guess now, it's time to go to war. Did you see I'm the number one trending topic? What a WWE debut for Chosen. Yeah, that's great. But more importantly, you helped me live to fight another day. So thank you. Well, I've been watching you get beaten up so much, and you seem so desperate. When you reached out asking for help, that it was kind of a no-brainer to come save you. Yeah. Well, thanks again, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what Tavish said. I was standing five feet from him. Of course I had. Your two of us is kind of small, actually. Noted. Point is, I need one more team member for the War Games match. You interested in sticking around? Of course. Have to keep the buzz going on social media. And to help you, too. All right. Let's do this. SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter, adding explosive twists and turns every week. And incredible athletes like Japanese Phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former Lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All's fair in love and War Games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. He's able to fend off the attack. Arnold side kick. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. Yeah, he is sparing no energy right now. Well-placed kick. Script on him there. Yeah. What now? Oh. Inverted vertical suplex. Kick lands. Twists the arm and a uh, working on the arm. Armbringer. Oh, and a kick. That was nasty. Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. That 
could bring an end to Slade. The holding cage has been open, and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen. Come on now. Is it not enough that they're already coming in with an advantage here? Is this really necessary? And now, officially in the fray. It pays to be coming in and have more friends than foes in the cage. Slade escapes the attack. Able to counter. Way to steer clear. Ouch. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. He gets a one-way ticket to the hard metal trench. He's all the way up to the top, and this can only end so many ways. None of them great. He was waiting for him to make his move. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, 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 just bounced that face like a basketball. The next entry didn't come in to even up the odds. He's now perched up on top of the War Games cage. Look who win. He's in a dangerous situation up there. Where's his headed? Got to minimize the damage now. Go help your teammates immediately. On top of the cage, long way down. A fall means you're either back among the wolves or losing war games. Close to escaping. Top of the cage. Pulling that back in. Saving the matchup. Oh, no.
Sent him clear into the other ring. Time to flip it. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Slade was right on target.
It all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking, you should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well, if you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. I'm going with Chosen, and not for the free drinks. I've had all the momentum since he came in, and I want to keep that going at SummerSlam. I'll be out there with you in spirit. And speaking of spirits, I'm going to collect my pool money and hit the pub. I'll save you a seat. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? I hadn't thought about it like that, but maybe you're right. There is a small part of me that knows, despite how hard I've worked to get here, that it could all come to an end. And that's scary. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you need an answer, it's going to be an Extreme Rules match. I don't want any restrictions stopping me from doing whatever I need to do to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, The Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule, so we need to make a call one way or another. <sighs> Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed.
Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over, but now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night The Lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place? Or more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately, losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, 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 he, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. And Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right thing. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game planned to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. What do you want? Here to pull another last minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either. But that's how these things work. Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one-on-one. -on -one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? 
No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? <laughs> oh no, it completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. As something special that can't be taught, as separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line, too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah, you think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No, but the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. This is his former protege in an extreme rules match for the WWE Championship. But it's more than that, Cole. It's a match between a superstar who left WWE to find himself and came back to win a championship and a living legend looking to cement his legacy as one of WWE's all-time greats. And don't forget the greats joining them tonight, like Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels, who has as much to lose tonight as anyone. No matter how you look at it, this one's huge, and it's all happening right now. Orton ducks the strike, and he counters with the headlock backbreaker. Vintage Randy Orton. Orton's clearly in control now. It looks like he's trying for a top rope hung DDT. His opponent's doing everything he can to counter. And here comes Shawn Michaels with the assist. But Shawn gets taken out. And now the challenger has an opening. Orton charges. Drop to hold him to the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like they'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one-on-one. -on -one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. Happened? Apparently Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. Uh-oh. We gotta see it. Power. Sit down. Power bomb. Now that's what you call impact. Somersault plancha to the floor. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Up top, Samoan driver. The Viper in bad shape here. Looks like Orton's struggling here. No way. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. He gets out of the way. Oh! And he goes into the ring. And now he's on the downside. 
outside. In this situation, he has to get resourceful. a bit of danger here. This can't... but Shawn Michaels is back, maybe to do that exact thing. It's over. You lost. Just give the man his due for once. That looks to be a small sign of respect for Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight it came down to just him and Orton in the ring. One on one, no one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn! The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is! It's official! We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline, but he might not walk out of here champion. Buckle up, everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history and one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand-new WWE Champion, but he's shaken the WWE Universe to its core. Myself included. Could somebody please pick my jaw up off the floor so I can call this match? You're on your own, Corey. It's Sami Zayn versus the newly minted WWE Champion for the title right now. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has. Going for a pin for the championship. The champ lifts his shoulder up before one there. Could be in search of a second win now. Jeez. If this lands, it might be all over. Sonata driver. Down with a snap bear. Looking wobbly in the corner. Irish whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. But Sammy Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Haluva kick. This could be it. He moved. He dodged the Haluva kick. With the roll up. That will do it. He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sammy Zayn's shocking cash in. Sammy Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sammy. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion. But for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known. He may also be looking for redemption. But for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. 
Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Was he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they forced their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion, and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do, and I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again? <laughs>